But with maps, I wanted to show you how handy this really is, this map, feature, map program that comes built in. This is really cool. Got to show you this. This is kind of fascinating. Um, basically, you can type in here an address that you want to find, and like here's one in Apple uh, for one infinite loop, if you're curious about that. You could also get directions and say, I want to find directions, and it's going to show me how to get from point A to point B. Actually, not in this location. I needed to go back to search, I think. Click start. There we go. And it takes you through. Whoop. Zooming in. Whoop. The next step. The next step. So if you have a 3G connection, this could be really helpful for you trying to find where you're trying to go. Let me click back to search. And up here, there's a little uh, button that'll show your location. So if I tap on that, it's going to pinpoint where I am located. So you're going to know where I shoot these videos as soon as I get this to tap. There we go. I'm centered in. You can see it right there where I'm next to. I'm right next to a, a library over here on James Madison University campus. James Madison University is gracious enough to allow me to use some of the equipment in this uh, recording room to be able to produce these videos. And hopefully you're finding them helpful and educational for you. So anyway, the maps feature. One of the things you can do though is right over here on the, see this little curl page right there? You tap on that. Ooh, you see hidden features. I can also do the satellite version. Ta-da! And there you go. And you can see that where I'm recording this is secret underground location for recording Ask the Techies because there's no building in that location. Actually, it's, based, it's kind of a, uh, a close to um, uh, GPS uh, location identifier. It just gets an approximation of where you're located. So uh, it gets you in a ballpark, but not exactly right on the dime. Um, where I'm actually shooting these is where this parking lot is. Uh, which there's a building there now, but this map's a little out of date. Although it's very high resolution, they chose this one because uh, back in 2006 it was ideal for that. Now the other things you can do over here is you can also show traffic. And it can show you traffic information. Now this may not be as helpful here as it is up here. If I was to go to say, uh, I'm trying to find a good one infinite, loop, one infinite loop in California, you can actually see traffic information. So it's showing you right there. Green is doing great. This one road here apparently has having problems because it's got a red for heading uh, southbound. And so it's got a little pinpoint location. And I can click on the eye to get information about what we've got. There we go. Directions to here. I can tap on that or to get directions from here. And click add to bookmarks if I want. Tap off to the side. If I tap it again, see that little face guy? That little face guy? You tap on that. And it takes me to street view. And there we are, the entrance. And I can just slide right through. Look at this, I mean, this performance. I mean, this is just incredible. Woo! Let's take a look at the, are there flags? I thought there were flags on the entrance. Maybe the, all the flags are up there. There we go. There's the flags. <laughs> so you can just uh, click done. Pulls you right back out. And if you want to add a location, let's say there's a, a great place that you, you want to do. Let's click in on our home location. Wall. One, zero me in. There we go. And let's say I wanted to actually get uh, a location mm, right up here. Let's go right off this main road. And I wanted to see, oh, let's pick something interesting right here. How about right here? What I can do is I can come over here and I can do a thing, drop a pin. And drop pin. Did I do it? Tap, drop pin. Boom, it tops one right there. And then it gives me information. So I can have that on there. Now in this case, this doesn't have a street view for me to be able to tap on. When I tap on that, yeah, it doesn't have a street view. It depends on where you actually drop the pin. And so, actually, if you want to tap on that and click information, you can also click remove pin. So if that's not where I wanted one, let me pick one where I know that there would be a likely location. Right there on the interstate. Let's try that. Let's do a drop pin just for fun. See what we get. Drop pin, Oink. and there we go. And now we can tap on that. And we can get a view of what it looks like on the interstate. There we go, Shenandoah, zoom in a little bit, National Park. So some information on that, because we are located in a very beautiful area. We're surrounded by mountains. This is a very beautiful area. So you get to see a little bit. And you can tap on the arrow, and it can zoom you in, move you along on down the road. You want to see what the sign says up ahead? Let's tap on it a couple of times, get up closer. They, in a way, have too many <laughs> uh, 
of these. And it's taking a while to render. So come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, you're getting a good idea as to how this does work. So this little, take me out of there, zoom out. So you can actually drop a pin and get some information and, and log that. The bookmarks thing here just shows a list of everybody that's in your address books. If you want, if you have their street home address in or their business address in there, it can show you a, a map direction, just how to get from point A to point B. The maps are great, very responsive as you can tell. I've uh, been very happy with it. There's options here for traffic on off. You got hybrid, you got uh, terrain. Uh, if you just want to get directions from one place to another, so here is where you can really see the terrain for where Harrisonburg is located. There's that huge Massanutten Mountain. You can really make out from very high out uh, in an aerial view or from outer space. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Well, maps, a lot of fun. Much more doable than it is on the iPhone or the iPad. Uh, I'm sorry, the iPhone or the iPod Touch because that screen's too small to be able to look at maps. Here you need to be able to zoom it and pan around and be able to see stuff and you can take big full-size pictures and it's like having a portable little uh, atlas with you. Um, for whether you're going hiking, you could do this little screen, that little screen grab trick uh, for hiking, that would be really helpful and have it with you the whole time. All right, I only wish it had a camera so once I go hiking, I could take some pictures with it, but uh, actually I like my nicer Canon camera instead, my G10, it's really, really, really nice. All right. Hope you're having fun with your iPads or you're curious about them. Maybe you're going to go out and get one. Um, if you have questions about it, feel free to drop me a question. Questions at asatechies.com. I also do videos. I know I've been kind of on a run with iPad because it's been a new device and a lot of people have questions about it. But I also do stuff on Windows 7 and Macintosh and things like that and software, Photoshop tips. So if you have a question, be sure to send them to me. Remember, questions at asatechies.com.